Hey friends, hey fam, what's poppin'? Hope you guys are doing so super well today, staying hydrated, checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind above all else. My name is Janae, and I typically post home decor and lifestyle videos, but today I just woke up in a funk. I checked what my most requested video was from like a questionnaire I asked you guys a while back and it was wanting to see a pamper routine or what my self care day looks like. I'm gonna be honest right now. I don't really have a self care routine which may explain the ongoing funk or it could be, you know, the times. <laughs> But regardless, it's not something that is like necessarily my cup of tea every time I think about the typical self-care things. I'm just like, I'd rather not. Um, where's Bravo? I'd rather just watch Housewives. Maybe it would be fun to do a little experiment. The hypothesis is that doing self-care will make one feel better. I'm going to test out these self-care things that are on these checklists on Instagram and Pinterest. We're going to see if at the end of the day, I still feel like complete and utter <laughs> Okay, the first thing on the list actually isn't bad. I'm not completely turned off by this. I think this is something I would do. And it's to shower with my favorite products and playlist. Say me. Send out how to handle this. I keep spinning around, keep on counting my turns. actually really nice like I know nothing about a shower is revolutionary like we all have to take them um, but I'm definitely one of those every other day kind of shower people and when I'm in I'm like in and I'm out I make it quick I get clean and I get out I use this Frank body um, body scrub that is a coffee scrub so I like the way it feels I like the way it smells Here's my problem. It's extremely messy. So if you don't want to clean your shower for 10 minutes after you're done rub-a-dub-dubbing, I wouldn't recommend it, but it does feel really nice. And then I also did a little lip scrub. I think it's by Fresh, and you can make these yourself with, I think, sugar. I don't know what else, but I've seen people make their own, so definitely look that up. I did a little deep condition of my hair. Oh, I even went to the extra length and shaved my legs. So I'm a little butterball who's super soft right now. <laughs> Get at me. Send your mans. Just kidding, do, do not do that, that is inappropriate. <laughs> I typically just do a quick wash, put on vitamin C serum and moisturize, but I have some fun products that I was very thankful to receive as a gift from um, First Aid Beauty. And I've been trying out a lot of these, but there's a few I haven't tried yet. Okay, let's do that. Do not, you know, use this video as an opportunity for you to take someone's advice on skincare, because you're watching the wrong video for that. I saw someone do this in a video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Intense peel. No. So what I'm going to do is try this resurfacing liquid. What? How many pumps? Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. Do you just rub it in? I hope this doesn't hurt. Ah! 
This does hurt. Oh my gosh, what is this? I don't like this. No, it hurts. Ow, 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 ow. I should read things before I try them. Resurfacing liquid. I guess maybe it kills dead skin and brings new skin to life. 10% AHA. This is why I need to read. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I didn't like that one bit. If you're someone who's often looking at the bright side of things or you're just always trying to hold on to hope, which I think is most of us, just remember that it's totally okay to still do that, but then still allow yourself to like carry the weight a little bit of reality because you know, it has technically hit the fan and now it's just flying everywhere on all of us, so. Now I think I'm just gonna do like a little hair treatment, nothing crazy. I just usually use this Carol's Daughter leave-in conditioner. I spritz my scalp with it and my edges to keep them hydrated. And then I add this main choice oil to my scalp. The next thing on my list is to put on a cute lounge, OOTD. Um, but the dilemma is that this is my favorite lounge, OOTD, the robe. But I was like, I'm gonna put on a cute like spandex and crop top. But like, I feel like if you're gonna have a self care day, you should do what you actually want to do, not what you feel like you should do. But you know, maybe that's wrong. But I think I wanna just stay in my robe. I'll report back in a little bit. finished facetiming my mom and calling one of my close friends from home and that was a nice little break i feel good i definitely do these things regularly so it wasn't anything new um but i do feel a little bit better after talking to loved ones and i've got this sick stash of york chocolates <laughs> You see I put the healthy snacks in the front and the chocolate in the back. Now I'm going to get some sunshine. I think vitamin D will be a game changer. Shelby and I, whenever we're feeling a little down, we've been going out to our patio just to like listen to music and relax a little bit. And I think I'm gonna do that. Here is the test. If it is thick, it will not drop. Hey, look at it. I'm telling you, the secret sauce, frozen mango and frozen banana. It's nothing beautiful, but it's gonna taste delicious and I'm gonna be a happy little camper. I finally took off the robe now that the day is pretty much over. I 
did the little, you know, gratitude list, which usually I do like doing that, but I just made like a mental note. But I thought maybe I'd try and write it down. And it was nice, but I also wrote down my frustrations, which I don't know if that was a good idea or not, because now I've looked them in the eye and I'm just remembering everything I'm frustrated about. The list were equal length. They were literally the same length. I guess I'm very thankful that I have so many things to be thankful for. It is what it is, you know? No, I think in reality, I would have done half of the things I did today. And I know it doesn't look like I did much. I showered, I ate, and I called my mom. Surely there's something else I did today. <laughs> I'm so tired. But now we're just gonna watch some TV. We're gonna watch some Love Island. And I'm gonna try and paint my nails. I figure if I do it while I'm watching TV, it won't feel like miserable to me. I think that's it. <laughs> Bye! Bye. I think it's so cute. This got me in a pretty good mood. I just feel like I look good. I ain't gonna be single tomorrow because my nails look good today. I'll <laughs> FedEx comes tomorrow. Oh, hello, have you seen my nails? Please look. Oh, my nails. I'm telling you, ladies with their nails done, they stay in relationships. I see some girls with crusty nails have mans too. I ain't never seen a crusty nail with a man. If you got crusty nails and you got a man or a woman, you, you hit us up and let us know. Let us know. We're doing a little study. I think I'm all self cared out for the day. Like, there's just not another self care thing I can Don't do. Don't have it in me. Anyway, overall, um, I wouldn't do this again. I would probably do maybe one or two of these things and spread it out. Now, however, if this is your jam, do your jam, okay? Put your jam on some toast and do it. I mean, eat it. Whatever. Just enjoy your life. I'm just saying, do what you want to do. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're not the type who's into all of this, like, you know, give it a try and see how you feel. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this discombobulated attempt hey, hey. to be self-care. What? Actually, What? I love you guys too. Whatever, she has her own channel. Peep it. Like I said, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And if we are not already connected, why? We should be connected. Hit me up on IG, like this video, and subscribe if you want to. Um, yeah, that's it. Never forget, you the best, you the baddest, and I love you so much. Hey, you ain't nothing but a bad bitch. Hey, you ain't nothing but a bad bitch.